the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 98, 1 Samuel 23 to 24, Psalm 57. God is the one who appoints. David did not kill Saul because he honored God's authority as the one who appoints, although the opportunity to kill Saul away from his 3,000 soldiers came to him. First point, David killed Goliath, which started the song, Saul killed thousands and David killed tens of thousands, and Saul killed 85 priests and made the entire country into whistleblowers. The prophet God told David to return to Judah, and so David left Moab and came back with the 400. But at that point, the Philistine army came and attacked Keilah. When David heard of this, he asked the people who were with him to go with him and save Keilah. David said that it was important for them to go and save the people there, despite everything that was going on. Keilah was a land that was given to the tribe of Judah, and David felt bad as Judah during those days was suffering due to Saul. But what happened afterwards was devastating. David went to help Kayla, but the people of Kayla informed Saul of David's whereabouts rather than thanking him. This was all because the people deeply feared Saul after they heard about the killing of the eight five priests. Around this time, the 400 that had been accompanying David grew into 600. Second point, David and Jonathan met for the last time in the desert. David and his people left Kayla and this time went towards the desert to hide. When Jonathan heard of this, he secretly headed towards the desert to meet with David. When they met, David was able to gain strength from Jonathan. Jonathan told David to hold on to his belief in God, not to be afraid, and also that his father Saul would not be able to harm him. Jonathan had risked his own life by coming to see David. He shared in David's sorrow and situation. Third point. Saul took 3,000 able young soldiers near where David's 600 untrained men were staying. Saul took 3,000 young able soldiers with him to capture David and to the rest of the country, he commanded them to report straight away if they sighted him. Saul completely learned the country with fear and threat. This time round, Saul and his men went to where David and his 600 men were staying. David and his people quickly tried to escape. Just as they were about to come face to face with Saul and his trained men, news broke out that the Philistines had attacked. God used the Philistines to protect David. Fourth point. David cut off a corner from Saul's love and then felt guilty. After the battle with the Philistine, Saul came back to hunt for David with his 3,000 tried men. Suddenly, Saul came into the cave where David and his people were hiding. David's heart would have throbbed like crazy, but strangely, Saul came into the cave all by himself without any of his goddess. This was an opportunity for David to kill Saul. 
in meant that David would no longer have to hide or live in fear of being killed. Moreover, David could have ended the terrible monarchy of Saul, but David did not kill Saul until the very end. He fully acknowledged that God had appointed Saul as king. So David did not cut Saul's throat, but rather a corner of his law. But he regretted even doing this. Afterwards, David cried out his innocence to Saul. At this, Saul, for a moment, apologized to David. Saul admitted that David was right, but he did not repent of his sins. Fifth point. David once again experienced God's vision of blessing all nations through a kingdom of priests in the desert of En Gedi. David was hiding in a cave when Saul happened to walk in. The tables had turned, and this time, David had the sword to kill Saul. In that cave, David instead turned to God and focused on his vision. David once again renewed in him God's vision of blessing all nations through a kingdom of priests. Psalm 57 records David's praise to God from inside the cave. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading. This is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day, takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.